You're watching 13 on your side. Calls for answers came from the Grand Rapids community this weekend. From rallies and marches to a gathering of leaders, it all surrounded one name, Patrick Leoya. Good evening, West Michigan. Thank you for joining us tonight. 26-year-old Patrick Leoya was shot and killed by a GRPD officer on Monday. Since then, community activists and city leaders have demanded the release of body and dash cam video. Hundreds marched on Saturday, including Patrick's family, to protest his death. Now the family has enacted the help of National Attorney Ben Crump. Crump spoke today during a forum hosted by Kent County Commissioner Robert Womack. And 13 Your Size Justin Bachman was there. So Justin, what makes his attendance so significant? Hey, good evening, Elena. Ben Crump has represented, among others, the families of Ahmaud Aubrey, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd. The Leoyas have officially hired his law firm to represent them for the long process that lies ahead. Justice for Patrick. Justice for Patrick. Justice for Patrick. Justice for Patrick. The whole world is going to be watching Grand Rapids and how we handle this here. Hundreds watched and listened at Grand Rapids Renaissance Church as County Commissioner Robert Womack and Attorney Ben Crump continued calls for justice. It was a, a traffic stop. You should not be sentenced to death over a traffic stop. Crump is a civil rights lawyer, and he's no stranger to defending families that have lost loved ones at the hands of police. So I think about Patrick and the possibilities of what he was to become. As I often think about Trayvon Pacifica. I think about Brianna's possibility. I think about Ahmaud Aubrey's possibility. And that's why this is so heartbreaking to us. He's calling for more accountability from GRPD and the release of that body and dash camera footage. Uh, a young black man was killed a couple hours away from here and they showed him doing something wrong and they released that video immediately. But when the shoe is on the other foot, and it shows the police doing something wrong. They try to delay, delay, delay. That video is part of an active investigation, but Grand Rapids Police Chief Eric Winstrom has said the video will be released before Friday at noon. Then we pray for due process. We want nothing but equal justice. That's all we've ever wanted. We are not against cops. Right. All the police are not bad, but we are against all those rotten tomato. And the only way to say we have to get the rotten tomato out. At one point, Crump turned away from the crowd, directly addressing city leaders. Madam Mayor, Mr. City Manager, you understand we all want the same thing. We really do. We want you all to see our children. Just like you see your children. The Leoya family claims that that body and dash cam video, as well as a video taken by a passenger at that traffic stop, show a Grand Rapids police officer shooting Patrick in the back of the head while he lays on the ground. 13 on your side has not seen the video in question and cannot verify the family's claims. Grand Rapids police have said it will be released by Friday at noon. Thank you, Justin. Activists say they are planning to rally Tuesday to continue the call for justice. It will begin at the corner of Pearl and Monroe at 5.30 and at the end of the city commission meeting at 7 p.m. We will continue to follow the story. You can stay up to date on the latest by heading to 13onyourside.com.